colleagues, I want to take a few minutes of your time to talk about OCS, One Corporate System, and specifically about the time registration component of it. I know that many of you are already using OCS, and depending on where you work, you will continue to do so, either in budget and finance, or in procurement, or in areas such as resource mobilization and so on. But time registration is going to involve all of us. So today I wanted to tell you a little bit about time registration and to answer at least one question, why do we need it? Well, we need it for two purposes. The first is for compliance, so we can more adequately bill our donors for the time you spend executing projects. Secondly, we need time registration to attempt to budget time outside of your research so that we can plan for this and adequately recognize you for the time you spend providing services to such things as representing the institution at meetings, servicing, serving on committees, and so on. It should not take very long. Actually, it should take no more than three minutes of your time. But you must do it each week. You should do it for yourself, and you should approve that of your staff. Without this, you can severely disrupt the processing of the Institute's reports, and that would have various consequences internally and externally. So time recording, while it's not an arduous task, is an essential task that we all must undertake. Let me give you a quick demo of what it entails. Assuming that you have logged on effectively, you will, of course, come to this screen which allows you to have a plan versus an actual time analysis. Once budgets are approved, you will enter your um, timesheets weekly. These timesheets include normal time, which are times that you bill to a budget code, and no charge time, time that you spend outside of the work you do on a particular project. So colleagues, this, as you see, is not very difficult, nor does it take very long. But as I said earlier, it is critical. Whilst we do this individually, it has a great impact collectively on the institution as a whole. So I urge you to take this seriously, attend the training that is being offered so that we can do this effectively. This can be our individual contribution to an overall institutional goal. Thank you for your support.